Hello sports fans, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Super Mega Baseball and the Electro Sports Baseball League. Uh, it's playoffs time and our first playoff game is the Sunshine Fun Bus versus Cheerio Incorporated. Let's look. Let's let's look. Let's look. There we go. Cheerio off to a nice big, what, a three point lead and they won the game. Hooray. Now clearly... There is uh, these are these are game series. This is not all over and dusted after the first game. Anyway, next up is Failurewood Hills against the Bumson Medics. All right, okay, good. Uh, it's a closer one this one, but the Medics have run away with it. No, no, the Failurewood Hills have run away with it. You were looking at it, and it was very obvious what was going on there. Um, all right, okay, two down. Uh, next up is us. Okay, Bulldoze Power versus Colonel School. Saturn Mist is going to be doing the pitching. We've got Chet ready to rock and rock and rock and roll. And that's going to be good. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look at the batting order. Uh, Steve's ready. Okay, right, Hardware, oi, out. Uh, Mori, in. Now, we have, the, uh, we have the endless decision of whether we keep Brenda on the pitch in exchange for crampons. Now, we know that crampons is not... Uh, the uh, the greatest player that you're ever going to come across. But what he does have is the ability to wang it over the fence like an absolute wanger. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, no. Mm. Brenda, however, has yet to perform uh, particularly strong. I'm going to keep her in, despite the fact that crampons is one of the reasons we're here. Yeah, that's uh, decisions, decisions. Let's get on with the game. Game one of five, flipping heck. All right, okay, we've got loads of these to get through. Um, right, Colonel School, uh, who are, whose logo is very much camouflaged uh, versus Bulldozer Power. We've not played Colonel School this season, have we? I don't know. Anyway, we're up to bat first, so uh, this is going to be grand. Here's Zoltan. Zoltan, don't swing. There we go. We're going we're gonna to go back to not swinging at the first pitch. And instead, we'll swing at the second pitch and get out. Yes, it's a it's a bold plan. Here's Furious. Had himself a game not so long ago. Whether or not he has a game today, we'll, we'll wait and see. Gently does it. Oi, Saturn, don't you fling your ball at my, uh, at my fella. Uh, ball two, strike one. Furious puts that one into a, into a place that means that he's going to get on base. And uh, and he does. Hooray for him. Uh, here's Papal. All right, Papal. Remember, we don't swing at the first one. There he goes. Life's easy when you've made the decision before the pitch is even thrown. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll wait this one out. We're going to try and wear this pitcher down. Strike two. All right. Papal's now likely to uh, swing at rubbish. No, no, no. He's he's patient because we hate striking out. That one's in the dirt. Full count now. What's it going to be? Papal likes it. He's had a go. Could be good. Could be good. Could be good. It's good. And Bulldozer Power are off to a two-run lead here in the first inning. Oh, that was good. God, that was exciting. I was, I was excited. I hope you were excited too. Here's Kojak. Uh, Kojak. Uh, in search of a good game. Hasn't had one in a little while. But, you know, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. We're off to a two-run lead. Yeah. Yeah, ball three. Come on, then. Strike one. Yeah, wait for it. And Kojak gets a walk. Kojak does that a lot, you know. I think she possibly has more walks than anyone else on the team. In which case, that makes her somewhat talismanic. And therefore, it has uh, uh, earned her uh, position more than anyone else. I mean, I might be wrong, but... Uh, Seems that way. His failure. He hasn't really done much lately either, but uh, that's okay. All right, strike one, ball one. Failure, waiting it out. Yeah, that's too high. He's not interested in that. Try better. That was too low. Saturn Mist has clearly been uh, been tilted already. Let's strike two. Full count for failure as well. This is all good. And he's put that one nicely out into right field, and he'll take his base. Uh, runners now first and second. This could all come unhitched. Uh, unhitched? Well, all right. Okay, that's a word, I suppose. Um, uh, relatively quickly. Stop trying. We, we're we not stealing nothing. 
We don't do that here. All right, let's strike one. All right, finally managed to get a pitch off. Cindy had a go. It's going to end poorly. Ah, she almost made it to the base, but didn't. Okay, all right, well. Look, that could have got a whole lot worse. Giving up the occasional double play is, is not the end of the world. Here's Kangaroo Carter, who's going to be leading off for the Colonel School. And uh, we'll see how he likes a, likes a fast one straight down the middle. All right, he seems to be quite pleased with that because he didn't, he didn't swing at it. Strike two. This is uh, Chet, the strikeout vacant, obviously. And uh, there it is. Yes. I am Chet, the strikeout vacant. He says, except he doesn't sound like that. That was just a homage to how he sounds. Here's Mr. Cag. And uh, let's uh, let's see if he's come to play. Or, uh, or whether he's just come to stand there, wiggling his leg around. Come on, Chet, put one in the zone, would you? Anywhere in the zone will do. No, uh, it's ball three. All right, let's, let's try and get some on target. That's the stuff. Strike one. All right. You can't miss any, otherwise we'll walk him. And we don't want that. Uh-oh. Strike two. Yeah, that worked as well. Right, okay, good. And that looks all right. Ah, that one's gone foul. Okay, we haven't dispatched him yet. I hate having three ball count flipping going on me. That's good. Kojak takes the first. And that's out number two. Nice piece of fielding there from Kojak. I mean, it wasn't the most difficult thing you're ever going to see, but there it is. Here's Picks later. Uh, who's, uh, who's, I, they're not giving me any season stats. I'd love some season stats to be able to regale you with, uh, with news and information and, and detail. Uh, picks what, picks sticks that one in the crowd. Uh, well, that was slightly harder to say than I was anticipating. Uh, Zoltan's pretending to be under it, but it's gone a long way. Not long enough though. And that's the side retired bulldozer power maintaining their two run leaders. Steve Morrie. Back from a, uh, a week in a spa. And uh, he's looking all the better for it. As uh, as that one has left the building. Steve Murray. Coming in cold. Blowing out hot. Uh, rather like a hairdryer. Alright. Well, Dave. It's all good. Here's Brenda Ferry. Uh Well, Brenda's got very little to prove. Well, she has, actually, because, uh, you know, Crampons is sat on the bench going, I want to play. I'm Bernie Crampons. I, I come to play. All right. Uh, the pitches are all rocketing through here. Brenda likes that one and is going to get on base. Uh, that's good. Bulldozer Power actually having a pretty good game so far. I mean, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but, you know, we're playing all right. All right, Chet, you can allow yourself to be struck out if you like. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you don't like, feel free to have a go for it. Uh, even if you cause a, a double play, it's not the end of the world. Oh, and an unforced error there. Uh, let's check, get on base rather fortuitously. Here's Zoltan. He's uh, currently got nothing. No, that's okay. He's our, uh, he's our sacrificial lamb at the top of the uh, batting order. And uh, he is a lamb. Look at him. What a, what a honey. Yeah, yeah, Zoltan, Zoltan. A big hit with everybody. Strike two now, ball two. Uh, Zoltan, is he going to get off the fence? No, oh, he's going to wait out another one. All right, everything's counted up. He's had a go for that, and that looks like it's got some steam on it. Oh, off the fence, but good enough. Should have made an extra run there, but I was, I was so busy watching whether or not we were going the distance or not. I didn't watch enough. Uh, but Zoltan with a nice hit. Uh, his uh, sponge bath. Well, base is loaded, and uh, and this pitcher is uh, is showing some signs of being a little bit rattled. Uh, but that's okay. We uh, we like it when they're a bit rattled. Spongy has a go, and we're good. And we're, we're going to try and... We, are, we we lost a player at third, but that's okay. We've got two in, and that's uh, that's good enough for me. Um, and that's that's purely because I'm not yet brilliant at, uh, at selective base running. Uh, so I, I ran two players instead of just one, you see. But we've got two in, so, you know, that's that's all good. Oh, he gently does it. Uh, Papal now is uh, having a look. Ball three. And oh, this pitch is done. Their accuracy is shot. And uh, Papal gets a walk. Yeah. 
Well, if they don't, if they don't substitute Sat and Miss pretty soon, uh, I'd be. There we go. Uh, they're bringing in Father Tempest. Uh, who's going to see uh, see if he can uh, he can do some ooh, juicy kind of pitch there? Uh, I like it. Well, I don't like it actually because uh, a juicy kind of pitch is one we're going to struggle to do anything with. Whoa! Checked it. It's all right. It's all right. Everybody, be calm. It's all right. Ball one, strike two. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Kojak uh, gets gets caught swinging. And uh, and is out. Yeah, it was the two strikes. You see, didn't like it. All right, we're back onto soaking up pitches. All right, ball one, strike one. Failure on the uh, on the action station. That's strike two. Okay, failures pop that one up. Fellas, go go back. Yeah. Oh, it's out number three. All right, all right it doesn't really matter then, does it? Okay. All right. So uh, at the uh, uh, the, the Colonel School now got quite a lot to prove. Here's Hooker's tree ball, and uh, it, uh, looking to uh, looking to make an impact here in the second inning. Uh, ball one, Chet slightly off target. All right, try that one. Slightly on target. Ah, yeah. See, what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. What are you going to do? Strike two. Nice pitching there from Chet Vacant, and uh, that one's in the dirt, but only after it bends through the strike zone. Uh, try this sinky number here. It's arguably too sinky, but it doesn't matter. Check. Check. Check your pits, Chet. I'd, that was going to sound so much better if I got it the right way around, but I didn't. Here's, here's Mew, uh, who's next up to uh, to have a go. Strike one. Chet. Deadly. Deadly Chet. Strike two. Ah, the ump there getting to use every, every possible inflection on saying strike. And that's out number two. Uh, Zoltan trotting in to get a catch. Here's the Plastic Vicar uh, up next. And, uh, well, this, uh, this is last ditch for them in this inning. No, that's, no, that's gone the wrong way. No, 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 you can't have that. Okay, all right. Fling one like this. Woo! Yeah, zany. Um, and uh, that's nice. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you keep missing them, son. I'll keep throwing them. Uh, right, let's try that. Ball one. Okay. All right, Chet. Don't get cocky. That one's got a Brenda. She'll fill that out to first base, and that's the side retired. Nice work. Bulldozer power with their five to nothing lead at the end of the second. I've not changed the difficulty. Now. I know. Sometimes, sometimes you play it. Sometimes not so much. But today, clearly, we are playing it. Oh, Cindy. Cindy's having a stinker. Here's Steve. Oh, one at bat for Steve so far. One home run for Steve so far. Oh, that was a lovely pitch. It was a lovely pitch. But uh, but Steve is is sticking to the script and we're not swinging at the first one that comes out. What are you doing, Steve? Just keep your concentration, mate. Well, that one's really got not not really got the, anything on it. No, that's out number two. Uh, Bulldozer power look like they'll collapse in this inning. Uh, but that's okay. We're al you're allowed an inning off. Brenda decided to have a swing at the first pitch, which we don't do, and is out as a result. Von Kludge is next up to uh, to face the mighty vacant. Strike number one. And into the crowd. Let's try this again. I don't, we haven't had a lot of success with this, but let's see if we can get one here. There you go. Vacant. Thumbs up. Here's Monterico, the left fielder. Uh, let's see if uh, see if he's got any uh, anything in his toolbox today. What's in your toolbox, Monty? Is it some baseball? All right, okay, all right, here we go. And uh, fling one of them down into there. Up in the sky, Kojak is looking for it. And has it. Out number two. And Father Tempest, the pitcher, is up next. Uh, he's got a he's got a surly looking disposition, uh, but he's a pitcher. He uh, he he anticipated a and and anticipated a a swinging uh, swinging pitch on that first one. I, I mean, I, admittedly, I do like those. So uh, I mean, that's, but that's largely because they they tend to be quite effective. That was all over the place. What are you doing, Chet? Come on, man, get it in. There you go. Try that. Whee! Yeah, you throw your bat away, mate. It's better than you throw the ball. Huh? 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 
Right, good. Chet's now up to bat. He's in no hurry. I mean, he got on base last time, which is more than is, can be said for some people. I, he got on base as a result of an error, but it's not giving him a uh, it's not giving him a, an, an at bat there. Ah, interesting. Wow, look at that. Can't argue with that one. He's uh, he's had a go, but he's a pitcher. I mean, the only pitcher I've got who can actually make uh, any any mustard with those is uh, is the conservative. Uh, and uh, I mean, he he does hit the occasional home a homey run. Oh, Zoltan, for crying out loud. I know you felt good about it, but, you know, it was a first pitch. Yeah, we're catching them out. We want to keep them guessing. Well, keep them guessing while they burn their first pitch. And again, Furious is being thrown at. I wish they'd stop doing that. He really doesn't take too kindly for it, and he gets a walk, and Tempest is gutted. Uh, like a fish. Uh, here's Papal. Got a walk last time. Had a home run earlier on. All right. Come on in, Tempo. Up the... All right. Okay. Tempo's in good good spirits, actually. He's uh, he's locked in. Uh, all of his business is, is operating at a slightly higher, higher, higher efficiency than usual. Stop it. We're not doing nothing. We have not stolen a base all season. Why do you think we would start now? No, I still don't know the buttons, mate. It's not going to happen. Nope, nope, still not going to happen. Will you pack it in? I know you're nervous. There you go. Oh, it's ended poorly. Right, okay, good. Well, that's another inning done. We're still up by five. I'm, I'm okay at the moment. Uh, right, here's Carter. Back for another go. And that one's gone wrong. Okay, yep. <clears throat> right, there we go. Chet, once again, uh, saddles the mound and, uh, and rides it into a victory formation. Yeah, come on, Chet, finish him. And Spongy gets the ball, flings to first, and that's out number one. Nice piece of defence. Uh, Mr. Cag up next. Uh, a gentleman who looks decidedly confident about life and everything in it. Uh, but he was uh, he was not biting on the uh, on the wonky uh, curveball there, and that's another one. Thank you, Cindy. See, Cindy wouldn't get half as many at bats if it wasn't for the fact she is a jolly reliable fielder. Yeah, I know she'll she'll miss the next one now. Brenda, oh Brenda, oh crampons wouldn't have missed that. Oh flipping it went straight between her legs. Oh, we, could, we could have had that nicely wrapped up. We've barely given up any hits today. And, and and that makes me sad that we just gave one up. Cindy. Just throw it first. That's it. You don't need to be any more aggressive than that. Side retired again. Bulldozer power still in the driving seat. Kojak is uh, having a stinker. But she's going to wait for the right pitch. And that was the one. Okay. I mean, it wasn't a brilliant... I mean, congratulations, you made it to first base. Hooray. But you made it to first base. Hooray. Here's failure. Uh, he's, he's not having a stinker, but neither is he having a, you know, a, he, he's not in, a, in the situation of late that would make you go, oh, oh, yes. Oh, he's a, he's a prestige player, no mistake. But that's his second on base today. So, uh, you know, he's solid. Well, look at him. Clearly solid. Uh, here's Cindy. Cindy is having more than just a stinker. Uh, Cindy is stinking the place up. And uh, that's okay. I mean, we defended her, her fielding talents earlier on. Strike two. Yeah, yeah. I'm not falling for that one, homeboy. Uh, there you go. Cindy finally gets a hit and life is fair again. I'm going to try some buttons. Next time we're in that situation, I'm going to see if I can't get someone to make a... Uh, around the corner, go for go for broke. Uh, it's Steve, the Mori Mori. Is he? Do we call him the Mori now? Ah, I, I think he's earned it. Uh, coming in cold and hitting a home run. I, I think he's uh, he's justifying himself in uh, in asking for that. Ball three, strike one. And there's the walk. And worse than that, the bases were already loaded. So that's another run. Thank you very much, there, pitcher. Uh, no, no, you're the real MVP, is, uh, is Brenda Ferrite. And that one's in the ground. 
probably should have tried something there, but I don't think we would have made it. Um, all right, come on, Brenda. She's gone for the fence. It, oh, everybody's out. Everybody get back. Everybody get back. Everybody get back. Phew. All right, Brenda, still uh, still not yet coming up with, uh, with the good stuff. I know, bases are loaded. I'm leaving the pitcher in. Yeah, yeah, I just am. All right, just just live with it. I know you should. I shouldn't. I should bring in a hitter, but no, I'm leaving Chet in the game because I want him to pitch a bit more. Yeah, and we're we're ahead by six, and therefore I can afford to fluff this. That could be good, but it isn't. Nah, it's not. Just isn't. Oh, hold on. I thought we already had two outs. Well, we didn't. Well, here's Zoltan with the opportunity to be a hero. Everything bad we've ever said about Zoltan could be wiped out uh, within the next few pitches. I mean, it's it's not essential, but, you know, in a loaded never mind, no. No, everything we said about Zoltan was absolutely on the money. Uh, right, okay, five down for uh, for Bulldozer Power, and uh, he's Mew is back up again to, uh, to face the mighty vacant. That's strike number one. Which is always a good strike to get. There's strike number two, which is I uh, is pleasing. Oh, that looks promising. Yeah, it's in there. It's taken out some small child's beverage, and uh, here's Mew there rounds the uh, circuit, doing a, a victory performance of some kind. Goes, yeah, I'm so brilliant. Yeah, all right, mate. We're we're still down by five. Uh, here's the plastic vicar. And uh, he's, well, he's, he's got a lot of proof. And uh, that he's made of plastic means that he's certainly flexible. Uh, that one's got a Kojak. She won't have any trouble with that. Out number one. Here's Von Kludge. And, uh, well, I mean, I, I could reel off the, uh, the batting stats for the team so far. But I'll be honest with you, they haven't really done very much. So, uh, so nothing really counts. Well, I say nothing really counts. I mean, it, it all counts. Uh, but they haven't done anything noteworthy. Apart from he's Mew, who just hit a home run. Go on, Papal. Go on, Papal. Papal, 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 Papal. Out. You might hit it how, son, but we got to it. <laughs> Park yourself. Uh, here's Monty. All right, Monty. Uh, right, let's uh, let's try you on a, on a one of these. That was a disguise. Steve, you fancy it? No, Steve doesn't fancy it. All right, okay. Here you go. And a wallop. Well, Steve's had a go. No, Monty's had a go. Someone's had a go, but it's gone fat. Uh, strike two. Uh, we've uh, we've had no uh, we've had no incidences of a ball-based variety, but we like to keep we like to keep all the pitches legit, you see, so that uh, in the event that uh, that they don't hit it, it. Well, it was a solid effort there, Brenda. But I'll be honest with you, it was rubbish. Crampons wouldn't have had it either, to be honest. So, uh, so that's good. Right, they've had enough of Father Tempest. He's going to go and have a sit down, and they're bringing on Kit Jess to uh, uh, to try and try and improve their their current scoring situation. Whoa! But I didn't press that button. I pressed the I pressed the second base button. I mean, I don't think we'd have got to it anyway. But I, I at least pressed the right button. Don't don't deny me that. No, that would be that would be cruel and unusual. Failure. -ya! Nope. Nope. No, nothing doing on that one. All right. Well, it's ball two, strike one. And I was gone straight to Kojak, who will run it to her own base. And that's the side retired. Uh, so, Kick Yes is going to go sit down. And Carla T. Curious is coming in. Uh, arguably their strongest pitcher, obviously, former uh, Bulldozer Power player. And, uh, and he's going to be facing Papal Event Horizon. Uh, to get the uh, get the show on the road, is he? Is it Papal? Nice, no, furious clown. Papal's up third. Oh yeah, and he threw a strike while you were looking at what his nameplate said. Yep. Well, he's out this time, isn't he? Yep. He was batting a hundred up to that point, but a thousand, I guess, supposedly. Uh, but he's not batting that now. All right, here's Papal. There you go. It's because they're both wiry dudes and near the top of the order. In my defence. Thin though it may be. Flimsy as a defence uh, though it may be. Uh, strike two. Out. Okay. Well, you know, an efficient out once in a while is uh, is no crime. Uh, no. No. 
That was Kojak, incidentally. Swinging at the first pitch. Damn, what a joker. Now batter, the center Here's Kangaroo Carter. He's had a couple of goes today, and uh, neither of them have come up in, a, in the way that he would have wanted. Uh, his, his grandma's currently in hospital, and he said, Grandma, I'm going to win the game for you. And so far, that's not going so well. And uh, he's going to disappoint his aging grandmother and his team and himself. Although, first, he's got to hit one that actually goes legit. That one's got a spongy who will throw it over the first. And uh, aging grandmother there, going to be disappointed. Here's Mr. Cag, 0 for 2 today. Uh, are you all right, chat? Yeah, got a sniffles? All right, first one does one of them. Ball one. All right, well, Chet's starting to play a little bit fast and loose with being on target, but I'll be honest with you, he's not exactly renowned for being on target at the best of times. Anyway, that's strike two now. And uh, one of those to finish him off. And I'll stop putting him in the crowd. It's very boring when you do that. And the umpire gives it the out. I oh, thought that was off target, but it clearly wasn't off target. Here's Picks later, uh, who has had a, a hit today. Now, I mean, that's it's noteworthy because that doesn't happen often. Cindy with a nice piece of fielding. Doesn't quite get it there quickly enough, but a good stop nonetheless. Uh, here's Hooker's tree ball, uh, another former bulldozer power player. That's ball number one. That one's in the dirt. That's ball number two. Chet now is starting to uh, show the signs of being a little bit over loose. Anyway, that one's got a Cindy. She'll throw the second. She'll throw the first. She won't bother. No, it's, it's all done. But the instincts were all solid. Uh, right, coming into the seventh inning, Bulldozer Power leading six runs to one. And uh, here is Ulysses Failure, who will be hoping uh, to continue his mediocre performance that he's made so far. What are you talking about? He got on base twice. Leave him alone. He's fine. He's not fine this time, though. That was, uh, that was, that was flimsy. It was flimsy. Here's Cindy. All right, Cindy. Um... Are you going to accomplish anything in this one, do you think? I mean, you know, the people love you, but uh, but honestly, I think they love you largely because you're a disaster area. Well, no, 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 that was, I mean, that was on the periphery of the strike zone, and the thing we hate more than anything else is being struck out. So, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but it's another Cindy Vapid non-event there. Steve Murray having a go. If he was a bit quicker, he might have made that. But he's not a bit quicker, so he didn't make it. Well, he's Mew's next up to bat, and he's the uh, the one bright spark uh, for the team. Which is unfortunate, really. You would, you would, uh, I mean, if you were running the show, you would, you would rather hope that he came into play uh, when there was some on base action already going on. Uh, that's that's where you want your reliable players to turn up when it looks like scoring is a potential. That one didn't go very far. He's uh, come on, here we go. Chester, finish him. That was going to Brenda. She'll wang it over the first. Although, if she had a bit more zip in her throw, that wouldn't hurt. Uh, here's the Plastic Vicar. 0 for 2 for him today. Uh, but, you know, maybe he's about due. Maybe he's not. Out number 2. Cindy there with a the nice grab. Here's Von Kludge. You right, chat? He's definitely got uh, he's got something going on there. Fortunately, as a pitcher, he is automatically socially distanced uh, because he stands right in the middle, you know, at least two meters away from everybody. So uh, it's all totally safe. Here's Brenda Ferrite, one of three for her uh, today. She's made a couple of poor decisions. This is not going to be one of them. Leaving that was possibly a poor decision. Be quiet. And no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Sit down, Brenda. Ah, uh, here's Chet. We're keeping him in. I'd like him to get on base, please. He goes to the first one, and you, what do you know? He's, uh, that's a totally clean base hit there from Chet Vacant, the pitcher. Good for him. Good lad. Good Chet. Here's Zoltan. Uh, batting 500. Uh, no, no. 250 is, uh, is Zoltan today. Uh, we're hoping for more. Well, obviously, we're hoping for more. You don't, you don't hope, hey, my, my lead-off batter, I hope he plays really poorly. Because uh, that's going to happen anyway. It's a jinxy kind of thing. It doesn't even matter how late in the game it is. 
uh, he'll still play badly because he's the top of the order. There's just a there's a top of the order pressure that uh, that comes. He, he got on bases. Uh, he did a little bit by uh, by some fluffed fielding. Uh, no, they're, they're, they're accusing us of stealing again. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's not going to happen, son. It just isn't. Just throw the damn ball. All right, okay, ball one. Furious. Uh, staring it out, looking it down. Uh, looking it, staring at it. Down and up. Strike one, ball two. Furious, waiting for it. If you say so, son, that was a bit dubious. There's ball three. Furious is uh, not in any hurry. And he gets a walk. He goes, thank you very much. And uh, trots up there. Uh, here's Papal. He's only one for three, but he's had a walk. He got two runs batted in. He's had a home run. He's had a, he's had a rare old time. Likes the first one. Shouldn't have liked the first one. Crikey. He put some steam on it, uh, but it went uh, straight to the second baseman who got everybody out. Look. Well, Papal, what do you say? To, what do you say about that? I mean, you know, is he, he is he the hero of the revolution, or is he the revolution? Kojak, what a grab! And uh, that's a nice piece of fielding there. And uh, oh no, you don't. Uh, Carlo T. Curious is going to sit down, and Cowie Drake, who's not one of mine, is coming in to take his place. Well, Cowie, if that is your name, uh, Chet still looks fresh as a daisy. Uh, so, uh, so we'll keep him on the mound for the time being. Uh, but if he starts giving up some clunkers, we'll uh, we'll bring in a replacement. No sense in giving away a nice big fat lead. In fact, if we give up two runs at any point, Chet's going to sit down. All right, all right, Chet, you hear that? Don't give up two runs, and as long as you don't, uh, you can uh, you can see if you can go the distance if you like. Yeah, no, you've only got this inning and the next one, and uh, and we're done. Oh dear. All right, just. Treat him to a slider. There you go. Oh, Chet. Oh, Chet. There you go. Out number two. <clears throat> Fortunately, Cowie Drake is clearly the slowest moving person in history. Here is opening batter Kangaroo Carter, uh, who has no love. Nope. Uh, no, he's, uh, he's had three at-bats and, uh, and failed on every single attempt, but uh, maybe he's going to do it now. Maybe now is the time. Chet, if you'd have looked the other way, mate, you might have had that. Never mind. It's okay. All right. We let one person on base. It's fine. Here's Mr. Cag. Also failing, failing to uh, to accomplish anything of note today. He's wanged that one out into the foul zone. All right. Here we go. Nothing. No need for anything complicated here. That one's coming in. Papal's having a look for it. Reckons he's got it. And that's the side of tires. Okay, well, Bomb Soz is coming on a pitch. And uh, here's Koja. She's had a hit today, so that's that's okay. It'd be nice to get another one here, but uh, we're in we're in no dire straits need of, of that. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't swing late. Oh, that was very nearly a good catch, but it wasn't a catch. So, therefore, it wasn't good. Here's failure. He's batting 500. Quite reliable, quite large. And uh, that's strike one, but we left it deliberately. That one, though, it's not going very far, is it? No, failure's out, but we have advanced Kojak to second base. Uh, here's Cindy. Well, what's she going to play with today? Oh, no, no, Cindy never swung the first pitch. But it has to be said, that's out number two, and we've advanced Kojak. Let's call that a sacrifice, shall we? You can call it whatever you like. Steve's still got to get a hit here. And, uh, I mean, Steve is not a bad player. Uh, but Steve is not the best player on the team. Steve, don't. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. That one was going to be a wide, Steve. You should have left it, Steve. All right, here we go. Bottom of the ninth. Last chance for uh, the uh, uh, the Colonel score to uh, redeem themselves. Picks later having to go at the first pitch. Steve Mori is uh, having a go. He likes it. He does like it. Out number one. <laughs> Here's Trevor. He's accomplished nothing. And uh, well, maybe it's, maybe it's, it's it's time for him to accomplish something. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the point at which Hooker's Trevor goes. I may not be on Bulldozer Power anymore, but I still have the power. 
Oh, and he nutmegs the pitcher and he's going to get on base. Okay, all right, it's okay. We've got this under control. We've got it in hand. Here's He's Mew, man with home run. Okay, should we walk him? No. Look, he got lucky and uh, he might get lucky again, but fundamentally, there's nothing special about this guy. He, he just he just had a fortunate moment. Look at him, he looks terrified. Let's strike two. See, look, terror in his face. All right, okay. Sponges? No, no. All right, but your instincts were strong there, Sponges. So, uh, so good effort. And? No, no, he's put some zing on that. He's going to get on base. Uh, they're not trying for third, so... Uh, <coughs> all right, okay. Remain calm. Here's the Vicar. He's done nothing today. But uh, this could be a moment where the amount that I've been dissing the team comes back to haunt me. They're going to get some runs there. Uh, probably two. By the looks of it. No, nope, just the one. All right, runners on the corners, and uh, and the Colonel School are not done yet. All right, do not blow this lead. All right, okay, Chet, this is your last go. If he gets on base, I'm taking you out, mate. I'm going to put on the prod. That one's gone foul. Okay, that's strike two. Yeah. Anyone else gets on base, Chet, and uh, you're going on. All right, it's okay. You gave up a run. Now we said we'd kill you if we uh, if we gave up a run, but we got an out. So uh, and it did, and they didn't get on base. So somehow I'm letting you stay in. He's very tired now. Is Chet vacant? Very, very tired. But that could that could work. Could work. Didn't work. And the lead is cut to two. Sit down, Chester. Chet, sit down, sit down, sit down. Should have subbed you sooner. Oh, my goodness. Uh, substitute, please. Yeah. All right. No, not the conservative. We're bringing in the prod. All right. Okay. All right. And this is, uh, this brings up train boy. Uh, we've got a runner on first. All right. Oscar Cattle Prod. Do your thing. Good enough. And that's the ball game. Right. Okay. Flipping it. That was closer than I wanted. Uh, giving up two runs in the final inning. That's not what you want to see at all. Uh, but a good gut. Three, <laughs> giving up three runs in the final. Oh, dearie me. What's the matter with me? Um, anyway, a good game was had by many. Not all, but some. Yes. And... Uh, uh, vacant with a win and a save there for Cattle Prod, who had to come in and get it done in the last inning. Five strikeouts uh, for Chet Vacant. Good. Your three stars of Furious Sponge Bath, Paper Lament Horizon, and Steve Morrie, all of whom had solidly good games. Okay, so next up is the Miggins Pirates against the Colonel Space Agency. Oh. Okay, and uh, the Colonel Space Agency are, of course, the number one seed uh, in the playoffs, and they just put the uh, put the Pirates well and truly away. Uh, so we're around again. Fun Bus versus Cheerio Inc. Let's see uh, see how Game Two does. The Fun Bus doing well and uh, and getting a win. So that's one to one in that series. Oh yeah, uh, here comes uh, the uh, uh, the Failurewood Hills against the Medics. Uh, the Hills taking the first game in the series. Uh, this one is going to be close. Medics managed to win it though, and they tied that one up as well. Gracious me! And that leads us to the next game that we're going to play. And what I'll do is the next uh, the next video entity that we have going on uh, will be all remaining games in this series. Yeah, I'll, I'll edit them into some kind of mega mix. Hyper Show, yes, uh, yeah, it will it will be a delight, I'm sure. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Catch you next time. Cheerio. All right, one game down in the series, and uh, we won. Hooray, go us. Uh, I need to win three, and then we're through. So I'm going to play the remaining games in the series, and then edit them down to make one compelling visual series of episode.
time to or not i don't know have a have a word in the comments if you go no don't edit it down just record a couple of games back to back and we'll, and we'll watch the whole thing i mean to be honest by the time i reach the end of it my commentary is likely to be completely woeful how does that differ to normal i hear you cry get out i respond <laughs>